Okay, yeah, a classic in magic has always been the six card repeat. Plays well for children and adult audiences. Finally, they modernized it and came out with six bill repeat with hundred dollar bills. Look how realistic, realistic they look. Very, very close, very beautiful. I'll give you the routine I've used for years, it certainly will, with the six card repeat or the six bill repeat. I went into the magic show the other day to buy a special trick. The magician sold me this trick with six hundred dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five, six. He took them and he took one at a time and he placed them into the hat. One, two, three. He counted. <laughs> he still had one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. I was impressed. I said, would you do that again? He said, sure, I'll do it. He took one, two, three, hundred dollars into the hat and he counted one, two, three, four, five, and six. How much is it? Well, he didn't say a hundred dollars. It was a lot cheaper than that. And I said, I'll buy it. I took it home. I got in front of the mirror because I wanted to practice before I showed my pie. I mean, my dad. And it was one, it was two, three, and I counted, you know, one, two, three, four, five. It worked. I went out to show my pie, my dad, and I said, hey, pie, look at this. I have $600 bills, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I took it. I take three, two, three away, and I still have one, two, three, four, five, and six. My dad, me and my dad, he said, I know how to do that. Give them to me. He took them out of my hands. Look, you throw one, two, three down, and you, one, only had 300 left. My dad wasn't a magician. Thank you very much. So it plays very well, especially for trade shows, if you're working for a commercial company or a bank. This is the perfect thing. And don't forget the DVD on the six-card repeat. Both of them are classics of magic now. Thank you.